Hey, welcome back. We're doing it. We're finishing off Lord Crump. Hopefully once and for all. I fucked that up. Seriously? That's alright. There we go. For once, I didn't fuck that up. Barg! 31 star points. Hey, enough to level up. That's good. We can finally uh, level up our FP, right? That's what we want, I think. Yes. Yay! We did it! Still somebody in the audience holding a rock. Gratis! Peace! She's flying. That's... <laughs> unfortunately... It's the last we see of Lord Crub Peter. Mario. Vivian's an OG. She's very handy, as as I proved in that fight. You got the Crystal Star. This is the Crystal Star. Your star power is now eight, and Mario can now use the special move Supernova. Huzzah! End of chapter. The last crystal star had been hidden had hit, been hidden in the Exxon hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Gratis? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him to next? Or where will they lead him next? We're not done on the moon quite yet. And we have no Peach story to see. Oh, that's we are done. I think it just cuts to Bowser, though. Yep. Uh, nice good dialogue scene with Bowser. We're he well, we're here. Now where is this stupid Poshly Sanctum? Crystal Star is there, right? So they say, your putridness. And lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Yay! Great! About time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go! Yeah, Bowser. I say, I'd like to mount that large animal horn in my foyer to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns. Don't you, you great thing. What? That's disgusting! Get away from me, psycho! You can't have my horns! Goddamn crazy woman! This place is so classy. I wouldn't mind spending my old age here one bit. Yes, get a little rambler, porch swing, perhaps, but I digress. Your noxiousness, the sanctum lies before us. A crystal star will be ours. There's a pipe here. Bowser, go down the pipe. It's gonna be fun. You'll fit. Eek! Mommy! Oh, hello there, guy. Blastly Heights is nice on a warm afternoon, eh? What's that? You're a great evil king, are you? Really? Yeah, you know, I think maybe you got a little too much shiny. Eh? <laughs> fucking love doing that voice so much, you have no idea. Wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? Uh, evil king extraordinaire, businessman of legend, Koopa Coot. Nice classic. <laughs> I'm the great Koopa Coot, all-time ancient babbler. Uh, yeah, right, mister. That name sinks. This thing's... I am Bowser. Bowser! Evil King Extraordinaire! Ye yeek Oh, He ran away. I wanted to see if he said anything different. Oh, look! My heart trembles! The fountain's so elegant! This is art at its finest! So very observant, as usual, my dear Gold Bob. And... Oh, my dear Gold Bob, indeed. Surely this is an artist's art. Yes, dearest. One cannot measure its worth by coins. That's what makes it... What makes art art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it. Yet how... How can one appraise what the eye cannot perceive? Whoa. 
I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me. Seriously. <laughs> fucking Bowser is the funniest fucking character. I love that they characterize him as like... He's kind of a doofus, right? But he's not stupid. He's just kind of silly. He's just silly. And he just likes the things that Bowser likes and that's it. It's locked. It won't budge. God damn it! Lock broke. Whoa, baby, awesome, it opened. Talk about lucky, I guess rage really pays. Bowser, come on. What kind of message are you trying to send the kids? Here we go. Yes, this is it, Haggy. This is finally it. I fucking love that scream. <laughs> Last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star. Yes. Impressive work, lurk, burr, barber. You're the absolute best targeting guy. Here we go. You there. I have now... I have you now, villains. You are coming... You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. Who are you calling a common thief? What are you implying? I'm no little... Th I'm no little thief. I'm... The shadow thief. The rem a remorseless king of evil. Koopa Koop. I'm the greatest Koopa Koot. I'm taking this. Me mess with me and I'll bore you to death. I see. Unfortunately for you, that's a red herring. Yes, a fake. If you want it, it's yours. W what? A fake? But look at this fancy display. The pedestal and everything. It's so posh. If it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave it to the... The real, the one, real one to Luigi. Oh, ho, ho. you have got to be kidding me! You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ugh, this Mario Brothers are are the most annoying brothers of all time. Mm, how bothersome! The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world did Mario be and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser! Yay! It's a Goomba. I love that part. I forgot about that. Ah, Paragoomba. What are you so worked up over? Hmm? Tell me! Now reporting, sir uh, and ma'am. Sir and ma'am. Mario has collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the thousand-year door. What? The thousand-year door? What in the heck is that? The thousand-year door? An unbelievably legendary treasure is behind that door. Ah! Then I'm going there too. Immediately. And I'm going to ruin Mario. Seems that all of the pieces are colliding, if you know what I'm saying. Will you now? Luigi, well done, lad. Way not to fail, eh? Yet. Yet. Like he still doesn't acknowledge that it's Mario and not Luigi. It's a fucking idiot. So no Peach story. Her her story's over. We're not fucking home free yet. We finally got all seven crystal stars. Yes, now we can open the thousand year door. Uh, but we still don't know where Peach is. Well, let's head back to Rogueport, I guess. Professor Franklin might be able to help us find Princess Peach, right? Oh, let's skip that area. So, now that computer room that was locked should be unlocked. I think? Right? I think you can go back to Rogueport and he says to look throughout the uh, excellent base. I don't actually know. I've always just gone right here because I know that I should go here. You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess P Peach. I am so s sorry. Most of my data was er erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory, trying to stay operational 
M Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach, please, please. Princess Peach is with Gratis in the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. But backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I release the room lock. Oh, okay, so the room is locked. Princess Peach is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. But what will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer, just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach, I ask you, please. And tell her... It's fucking... This is super depressing. Thank you. For me. It's like... Sh oh man, shit just got real! So, hurry to the teleporter room now. Mario, save her. Tech system failure reported. Oh, Mario, we have to save Peach for tech, too. So that's fucking depressing as shit. So. There you go. Nice. It's a weirdly... You know, the, the story is definitely very reminiscent of something like her uh, as, like, an AI falling in love with a human. Obviously, it's not as, like, deep as her. They don't have, like, phone sex. <laughs> like, a very good scene in her. Very funny. Um, but, you know, it's... it's There's oomph there. There's feeling there. And I just got a little, you know, I got I got some feels. So I, we can't come back now. I'm pretty sure the moon base is fully done. For real, super duns. Peach, goodbye. Boom! It'd be great if it cut back and the moon was like crescent moon, just blew up a huge chunk of the moon. An event that would definitely destroy the Earth, probably. Did you hear something just then? It doesn't react whatsoever. Apparently, it doesn't work. So there you go. That's the end of the x knots I guess all those fuckers are dead. Peace! Well, if it isn't Mario! Over here, son! I'm old! But also, teeth! Brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? What? Talking to my good ear. The x not Fortress was on the moon. Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Well, yes, but the x not boss took her and took off for the Thousand-Year Door. Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the Thousand-Year Door. Saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door with Princess Peach. Well, what? Are you serious? Didn't legends say that all seven crystal stars were... Needed to open the door? Believe me, I know. I am quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad! Princess Peach is in danger. Danger. If you knew Princess Peach was going through the door, why the fuck would you ask if we found her? Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Alright, well, I guess let's go open the Thousand Year Door. Oh, we got an email. I mean, we know how important that shit is. It's the last RDM. Oh, we got some other emails. Rock Hawk. You! This is the so-called Great Gonzalez? Uh, well, it's me, your worst nightmare. The new and improved Rock Hawk. Don't think I forgot you, punk. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen would blow your mind. I'm on the fast track back to the t top. And ain't nobody gonna get in my way. Rock! And still, on rainy days, I feel the, bu the bruises your hammer left. 
Your hammer of shame left in this spot, and I feel the rage again. If you ever show your face in the ring again, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. Remember the rock. Number one, rock hawk. Oh, rock hawk. Ghost T. Hello. Ooh, long time no spook. It is I, the spirit from the Excess Express. Bet you're wondering how the ethereal being m like myself can type in an email. Well, I actually possess the train conductor to do it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. don't worry though. He's doing just fine. I think maybe I'll do my new diary entry like this. Email's convenient, you know? And leaving a record of my afterlife is cool, in a spiritual sense, I mean. So, good luck with your quest. It's not yet time for you to come over to my side, but whenever you do, I'll welcome you. Ooh, farewell. Ghost tea from room four. <laughs> Spooking out people. RDM, final issue. Rogue Port today! In a shocking series of events today, local authorities report that Zesty, age 55, delivered a left hook to the jaw of Gadabout Flavio, age 25, late this very afternoon. Our investigation has revealed that the cause of this feisty fisty cuffs may have been Zesty's anger that a shipment of gourmet ingredients spoiled on the dock because Flavio had held up the dock crew with a marathon two-day tale of high seas adventure. While Flavio is recovering from temporary memory loss, Zesty has already been approached by Glitzpit talent scout Don G Goombati. I think the kids got spunk. We'll take the world by storm, said Goombati. <coughs> Ooh, had a cough built up. Shop reporter go. This week we have an explosive exclusive on the shop in Far Outpost Northwinds Mart. It's so cold there that all the merchandise is frozen to the counter. Just kidding. The smiling shop manager showed us a fascinating variety of goods. As the sweet-faced little miss explained, It's cold out, but I do do best to explode inside shop to warm place up, da? So come on in. This place is big, too, folks. So we haven't seen, even seen all of it yet. Come on down and see it for yourselves. Cooking for Rookies this is the final installment of Cooking for Rookies. Just to make sure we leave you with a smile on your face for our last recipe, it will be Couples Cake. Just simmer spicy soup for a few minutes and then drop in a snow bunny and presto. For your very eyes, a mixture that will congeal and take the form of a cake. Eat it with someone you love. Editor's note, this is it, dear readers, the final issue. We here at the RDM office have enjoyed every minute of our hard work to bring you the best news and features. Maybe we meet again, perhaps sooner than you think. Wink, wink. The fuck does that mean? There's no Paper Mario games soon after this. It's four years before Super Paper Mario came out. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to the Thousand Year Door, and then we'll end this episode. Don't worry. It's not like we're gonna initiate some kind of point of no return. This game is old school, but not that old school. That's actually kind of more new school, I guess. Oh, it's a mixture of both. A booth. And we're already running a little long, but it's fine. Just one kind of cutscene left. Fuck that magic Koopa. For Debbie. Uh alright. This is it. This is big. Big news, everyone. What kept you, Mario? Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't think they're in the vicinity anymore. They must have found another way to get through the door. Uh, okay. It's all come down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold aloft the last crystal star. This part's pretty cool. I, I'm i a big fan of all these finale moments. Get some nice uh, spinning around shit. We actually get to the, the see the fourth wall, as it is known. So they all disappear, and then they appear in the door. Well, they appear there first. But the door lights up and glows and shades cool. Look! The door! Damn! There are lights on that door, son! There are lights on that door, son! I like the... This is like a, just a big old crack appears in the door. Oh, around the door. My bad. Fucking darkness comes out. This is some spooky shit. Spooky. 
Long last, the entrance of the Palace of Shadows has been opened. Before Princess Feast falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world, you must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm! Come on, Mario. Me? I just get in the way. I'll wait here and uh, watch the door. Yes, that's it. It's all up to you, Mario. Stop their foul ambitions and save Princess Peach. So, from here on out, we we have reached endgame territory. It's kind of kind of melancholy to say, but we still have a lot left. Like, <laughs> I know it's like, oh, this is the final dungeon, almost over. No, it's not. It's like the, it'll be like five episodes going through that dungeon at least. Like at the very least, it'll probably be more than that. Um. It's very confusing. It's very difficult. But first, we're gonna do the thousand, the pit of a hundred trials. We're gonna before we conquer the thousand year door, we're gonna conquer the pit of a hundred trials. It's actually harder, um, but uh, we've got everything that we need for the pit of a hundred trials. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start that conquest by getting ready, doing our prep uh, next time on Alex plays, and then after we finish the pit of a hundred trials, we will go and start chapter eight, the thousand year door.